Hi there everybody, it's Helen from Slim and Stylish. Thank you for joining me today. I'm a UK Stamping Up independent demonstrator and today I'm going to be making a good luck card. Now I have spent ages, ages and ages looking through all of my stamp sets and trust me I've got hundreds above my desk here, um, so many of them and I've really struggled to find any that say good luck. <laughs> so um, I, I'm playing with this one instead I've got we're behind you all the way we think you're the best and we must celebrate and I'm hoping that they will come together with a good luck type theme because I can't find one on any of my stamps there must be some in the annual catalogue let me know if you have a stamp set that says good luck comment it below and um, let me know because I'd love to know what you all do for good luck cards <laughs> um, and I've got here you're awesome so I'm kind of thinking that's kind of a good lucky one. This one here has got best wishes. That's the petal palette one. Other than that, I do have the alphabet labeler. So I could actually type good luck. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play with this one and see what we can do. So I made a card for a challenge a few weeks ago. It was a circle challenge and I made this card using this set and I never blogged it or put it up on film. So I'm going to be doing the same sort of thing to make the good luck card today, but I'm just ad hocing it as we go through. So these are all popped up and popping out the windows. So I'm gonna be using this set to do it. I have made myself a tenfold card. So it's an A4 piece of cardstock cut in half and scored in half like that. I'm going to be using Cherry Cobbler and there is a reason why and I'll explain why um, as my layer. So I've cut that just half a centimetre smaller or a quarter of an inch smaller so it just gets a slight bit of shading from the white at the back. And then I've done myself a top layer again, half a centimetre smaller than the Cherry Cobbler or a quarter of an inch smaller. Okay, so that's what I've done for my layers. And I have already stamped and cut my four friends. The reason why it takes me so long to fussy cut, it really does, that I stamped them and cut them so that you didn't have to wait. And then I just left the little squirrel and thought I'll cut that with you. However, I cut through his face. So I'm, I re-stamped again and cut again. But that was just using this one here and I've put it onto an e-block, used the memento ink, inked it up and stamped it onto the whisper white. Now I'm just going to fussy cut round it. So I'm making a good luck card because um, my boyfriend um, is off to the Commonwealth Games on Friday. He's uh, representing England in it and I'm very proud of him. And I want to wish him good luck while he's there. So I'm not going to give it to him, I'm going to put it in his kit bag. And then when he gets there he'll... He'll have a surprise that I made him a little card, but I obviously couldn't make anything too bulky because uh, he's got lots and lots of kit and I don't want it to be sticking out. And that is why I've done it in Cherry Cobbler because he's representing Team England and uh, red and white, they're our colours, so I think it will look pretty good in his dorm room. He's gone for three weeks, so I'm really going to be missing him. I thought, I'm sure he'd like to know that we're all behind him. I'm making a little card. Plus the fact he sees me makes car making cards for everyone else, I think he'd be a bit disappointed if he didn't get one. <laughs> so He will have already gone by the time you watch this video because he's really good. He's, he's subscribed and he watches my blogs and then he messages me and tells me what he thinks of them. So, <laughs> and he's really quite complimentary with it. So this will go on after he's gone. Right, I'm just gonna use my stamping blends. And I'm using the cherry cob, sorry. I'm still thinking of the paper. Crumb cake, the greys, the ivory, the bronze and the lifter are really going to be the colours that you want. So we can keep them all together. Yeah, 
I think those were the colours I used with that. I'm pretty sure actually that one and this one I used with my um, with my blender pen and my neutrals and I did it that way but I'm actually going to use the stamping blends for this. It was so long ago that I did that for the circles challenge that I really can't remember what I did. I'll colour in the little raccoon. When you cut these out you need to be as close to the um, line as possible so if I put this onto the cherry cobbler you should be able to see. You want it as close as possible so you've only got a little shadow and you really want to cut in between the tail and the head and the whiskers on things because that's what's going to sit out in the card. I cased this, not, I didn't case case it, I saw Michelle Last and her group of pinkies had done these but they'd done them with the party pandas in the hole so instead of having the animals from we must celebrate they have pandas and i thought that's a good idea but i didn't want to use the pandas because everybody else was already doing it with the pandas so i use this set i quite like this set so I just color them in Yeah, let's cut his nose in. It's one thing that I like about the blends, you can be messy and still be tidy, can't you? You can rush through, go over everything like I just have for the, the nose and it still looks really good. Or I think it looks really good. I hadn't done any markering or colouring before I had the blends. I am... Um, I know a lot of people have used Copic markers and things like that. I'd never used them. I've just picked it up from watching tutorials, really, and playing around. They're so easy to use. So just use a colour lifter there to get a bit of shadow. And that's that one done. Let's do my bear. Just going to give him a little bit around the edge. Be a lighter type honey bear, I think. Try and work out where I want to shade him. So much for him being a lighter honey bear, I've made him really dark. <laughs> Oh well, he's my bear. Stamping blends have gone really well actually. I think they're all on back order at the moment. They seem to have been really popular. So um, don't worry if you go online and see that they're on back order. They'll be available soon. They're just so popular. Done that. So there's that one. using the bronze there. I quite like the bronze one actually. I, I am a fan of the bronze one. I do. I think it's quite cute. And then the dark crumb cake. And I'm just going to come in over him with the ivory so that he's a bit lighter than the bear. The ivory actually makes quite a good colour for... Um, the cheeks and noses of things like his little nose will look, it's like a very, it can be viewed as a light pink or peach really. 
So I quite like that, but for him, I'm just going to run all over it with the colour lifter so it just takes that edge of it out. There we go. And then I've already said my rabbit's going to have that one as the ears and the nose. And I'm going to do his little bunny tail like that. And then what colour are we going to use? Light crumb cake. intrigued if any of you guys do use any other colour mediums like the Copics or anything like that why don't you leave me a message and tell me how you find them compared to the blends because I really do I think these are amazing and like I said I haven't used any others so I want to know if they're, if they're better or worse there we go there's my four and um, I know I cheated and didn't do them all in front of you because I already had them cut, but I, I think that's the best way so that you weren't waiting for ages. Okay, so bring your bases out. I'm just going to put some fast fuse onto the card stock to adhere it to the back of the card. Now I'm just going to view where I'm putting these. I think for this one I did it upwards like that. I'm not sure whether to go across because I want to put the. I was thinking the we we're behind you all, all the way. We think you're the best, and we must celebrate. Or these two. I want to have them as little speech bubbles. I think coming out. Do I? should have planned this before I come on to you. I've saved time and now I'm dithering. Dithering, dithering. Um, I was going to look at putting that your awesome on. Now I'm going to go the way that I went before. I know that works. I've worked it out. I know it works. So you just want a piece of whisper white and get your circle punches you want the smaller circle punch so I've got the one and one half and the one and three eighths so you want the one and three eighths and you want to cut three of those and one's just dropped on the floor bear with me there we go take the confetti already took it out and got it put on a block Have some scrap I've got some spare scrap somewhere Ooh. what are you there we go just so I don't hurt my grid, grid paper I don't want it getting all messy get that inked up on there so that everyone can see the confetti and then with your blends and this time I'm going to be using some darker colours I'm going to be using the cherry cobbler because it will go with the back and I'm going to bring in some night and navy just to give it some some blue for the red white and blue and of course I'm going to bring in the yellow because I want him to be thinking of gold I want him to be focused <laughs> so there we go oh, the little circles let's do those in gold what well, is subliminal subliminal messaging is that how you say it I think I might use the bullet tip for this bit, it's a bit finer. There we go. 
we go. There we go, so pop those on roughly where you think that they should be, because that's where you're going to be making your holes. So using your slightly large punch which is the one and one half once you've got these on and you've roughly seen where you want them just pop your holes through so I want one there and one there and one such as there like that Once you've done that, you just want to put that where roughly where it will go. Put your fast fuse on the back of these. Get these stuck in the holes. Try to use this really light and fast fuse like a firm hand. I think it's coming to the end of it anyway. I'm not redoing really it because it's refilling it because it's going. Going retired, unfortunately. Love my fast fuse, I'm really going to miss it. So there we go. Pop those in the holes like that. And then, what to do on that one? Yeah, I'm going to put just a strip across bottom like I have with the green so I'm just going to be two seconds I'm just going to move to my trimmer to do that and it literally is just a centimetre strip that I'm putting across so fast fuse that across oh, I've just, I've just said that's run out Tombow to the rescue Been a bit of a lengthier video than I thought this one, but there we go. I'm trying to work out how I can put our cross in. Our cross is actually in the middle, um, so I think it should go there. Yeah. It's going to go there. Put a little bit more Tombow on. Try and get our, our flag on there so it looks a bit patriotic for him. I don't think I've got the glue all the way to the end, it's not sticking. It's typical, isn't it, when you rush in? And my light bulb, the one to this side, I've got two light bulbs. That one went before I started filming as well, so I feel like I'm having a very, very good moment at the moment. So I use the glitter washi just to go across I'm 
like that. And Before I use the Wemus, oh no! <laughs> oh no, look what I've done! <gasps> and I used Fast Fuse, didn't I? Oh! Fingers crossed, fingers crossed everybody. I thought that was going to have to be a, a stop and go moment. I stopped it, got back up to here and refilmed. Oh. Come on, off you come, off you come. There we go. I think that's what's known in the uh, in the film trade as a blooper, isn't it? So there we go. Let's put those back down. Make sure the card's the right way up this time. Oh, that's too funny. Oh, I'm glad for once in my life that fast fuse never stuck. There we go. Phew, 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 phew. That's been a waste of a, a tutorial in an evening. Mm. We are, we all make mistakes. Obviously, me more than the others. These are the circles that I popped out the half inch earlier, so I'm going to put that on there. Okay. And the stamp set I'm using is which one's going to fit we think you're the best Memento. I'm ever so sorry. This is going to be a really long video for everybody to watch. <laughs> oh dear. Just flip to the end and see the finished card. We think you're the best. I'm going to stick that on there. While I'm doing that, I'm just going to stick some glue in there so that one sticks muttering to myself this is why I like to have things properly prepared and not go oh I just think I'm going to do one that's like this I need to we think you're the best and I think that should go where do I think that should go Actually, do it there so it's on the edge of the flag. Do you want it? I think I want it there. I know I want it there. I don't know why I'm piddling around with it. Right, so all you need to do now is take your little animals and balance them in your window. Okay, so the best thing to use with this really is your glue dots or your snail so you can just get it where you want it and just balance in your little animals so that one's going there I can roughly see that his ear will fit there so just put a little bit of snail down to stick him down so that when he sticks out he sticks out like that and you want him stuck to this panel and not this because you're going to put some dimensionals underneath him and he'll stand up some glue on because he's going sort of there and where's my little little raccoon let's put a little bit of glue there what 
that's roughly how you want them to look before you put them up. So then you want to pop some dimensionals along the side. I'm using a few for this because I want to not only stand up at the corners, I want to make sure it's standing up in the middle as well. You could turn this very easily into a shaker card and have proper confetti at the back. Can you imagine how long this tutorial would be if I'd done that? <laughs> Oh dear. I'm using a few because I just it's going in a suitcase, so I want it I want it to last. going to go on there so just pop a dimensional on each side so that pops up as well. Do you haven't used cherry cobbler since Christmas and I got totally fed up with it at Christmas so it's quite nice to actually have it back out again because it's been a long time since I used it and this little fella he's just going to stick on the edge there we think you're the best and at the top I'm going to put the we are behind you all the way up there, which perhaps I should have done before I stuck it. But there we go. Ooh. We are behind you all the way. And then all I'm going to do is just get a couple of my white accents and colour them in with the Cherry Cobbler Dark Stamping Blends. I'm going to have a big one there and a little one. very bright actually don't they? Let's go over it with the other cherry cobbler. <laughs> go over it with the fat end not the thin end Helen. There we go. Lighten it up a little bit. And then I'm just going to grab a tissue before I take these off. it to do that so it was mottled let's put a bit more on there let it dry for a bit but when you do that it just gives it sort of a if you can see sort of a mottled effect rather than a clear effect because I'm going to come over with the Winker Stella and I'm going to pop lots of that on there so it glitters quite nicely okay pop it off and put it onto your card think you're the best. There we go, so two cards, both with different things. You know, I might keep this and then if he wins, I might give him the We Must Celebrate one. <laughs> that would be pretty good, wouldn't it? So there's his card with his flag on. I'm sorry everybody that it took so long, I just wanted to get it right and Obviously, it didn't help putting the card the wrong way around, but I hope you like it. I hope you've enjoyed it. As I said, do try it with the pandas because that works just as well. It looked lovely on their videos. And uh, thank you for joining me. Thanks, everybody. Speak to you soon. Bye.